Some people are in. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the F1 Freshman League here in Gavarese. And I'm just going to move my microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. Oh, you know, I'll do what I did in the Rocket League tournament. Boop. There we go. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, Dazza is here in the chat. Not in the race. I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Freshman League here in Gava Racing. I hope you're all doing swimmingly. If you just bear with me two seconds, the reason why I'm not speaking on anything, that's definitely not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Boom. Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Freshman League. Um, and, yeah, so welcome. So we've got 17 drivers here today. Uh, what? Is, so everyone is here. No one uh, missing, I don't think. So? Yeah, no one missing, I don't think. So, yeah. Hello, everyone, and good evening. Now, on to the race. So we actually had a very, very good race last week in Canada. We had... We had some clean racing. We had some good racing. Okay? I want to see a repeat of that again today. Which, hopefully, the Freshman League will replicate that. Um, however, they noticed a, some small changes. Well, one small change. Now, I believe this is probably pronounced very differently in Finnish. But in my language, this is pronounced as Jane. So I'm gonna just say Jane. Jane 475, yeah. So Jane 475 is the stand-in replacement for Dazza. Uh, so yeah, stand-in replacement for Dazza. Let's see how Jane, how well Jane can do. Um, from Finland. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to see how well Jane. Actually, see, it's saying Jane, but is it is it not like? I, I don't know. But anyway. Just gone pole, actually. A 1 minute 4.1. <clears throat> with uh, Phantom Raspberries in second. I wouldn't count that out yet, though, because obviously there's going to be a lot more drivers come around to do their laps. RC8, as we know, is in a championship battle at the moment. Um, alongside his teammate, Phantom Raspberries. Um, RC8, I believe, have actually had quite a commanding lead. As a hello, everyone. Welcome into the chat. Nice to see you're all here and joining us. As uh, I look to the championship standings, which I will just grab up now, because I am all prepared. I don't know why, I see very, started this off very chilled. It's probably not going to be in the race, I'll tell you that much. Um, do, 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 freshman League, here we go. So yeah, at the moment, uh, this is what the qualifying section it's a set, a session looks like. Looks like RC8 is on a lap, actually, as he comes around the final corner. See what he's able to do as he comes up to the line. And he goes pole for 1 minute 3.9. Goes RC8. And uh, RC8 now. So this is race number 6 of... Yeah, this is race number 6 of 14. So RC8 currently leading by a... By 50 points. A 50-point lead the RC8 has over his competitor. 
uh, which is Gregster actually in second now. Then Phantom Razgris, seven points behind him in third. Tunchuri with a very good season at the moment, only a further 11 p points behind him. Then an eight point gap to the Frenchman Tonios. As we look to the um, constructors, Ferrari on 175, Renault on 106. And uh, yeah, so looking pretty good at the moment. Hello everyone and welcome. Some people just having a conversation about some Dutch stuff in the chat. Let's have a look and see who's on a lap at the moment. Looks like Triple O was. Oh, and he's had a big crash in the middle sector. Who's that coming around through the middle sector? That's Phantom Ransgrids. Let's have a look. Oh, he's had a big crash on that right-hand side. There's Triple O. And uh, unfortunately, he has retired from the session. And uh, we'll have to start from the back of the grid. No penalties today, which is very good to see. That's when you know we had a good race out in the freshman last week. Gin and Juice, who's been in some unfortunate incidents in the previous races. Let's see if he's able to get a good result here. As uh, climbing his way through the field, as uh, see he's putting in times and uh, just a quick word about this man here Mr. Robert Codfather and I'm going to say this down because I know we'll be watching the stream back Robert Codfather is 68 years of age that's at 6 8 68 years of age and he is dry and he is in the Scabber Racing League I mean that is incredible but even more to the surprise of me I'm sorry Robert you are a legend to me but this is a surprise Robert Codfather has scored in the previous three races in this league, Robert Cobfarber has. He's had an absolute stormer. He's on a stormer of a run at the moment. Is Robert. And as Gin and Juice went, just went fourth. Of a woman at 4.3. So yeah, keep an eye on the Haas man, Robert Cobfarber. He may be he may be the underdog in this situation. But just keep an eye on him because you never know. You never know what him and the Haas can do. Him and Deadly Jason teaming up in the uh, Haas. Deadly Jason. Um, Ivan, um, unfortunately, I kind of understand what that language is. Uh, if anyone can understand what that language is in the chat, please tell me. Um, if it's Italian, I need Gav. If it's Dutch, I need Castengel or Rick Hall. If it's French, I need Piero. Yeah, if I could just have some help with that. Um... Let's have a look at the moment. So, uh, I'm gonna, should I say Jan or Jane? I'm gonna say Jan. Jan? Jan. Because if I say Jane, it makes it sound like a woman. Are you cheering for Phantom? Oh, that's fair enough. You carry on cheering for Phantom. You go for it. As, uh, yes, it's RCA on provisional pole at the moment with, I'm gonna say Jan in second. I'm gonna say Jan. With Jan in second. Then uh, Combat in third. Then uh, Phantom Razgris in fourth. Gin and Juice in fifth. Unique J in currently in sixth. His teammate Kebab behind him in seventh. Alex Gunnamack in eighth. Sabo in ninth. Tonchuri down in tenth. Tony Ellis in eleventh. Gregster in twelfth. This isn't good for the Renault team at the moment. Definitely want to be picking up the pace around this track. And uh, definitely going to be fine margins in qualifying. As. Uh, uh, Black Country Mush, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing swimming these. Greg's are going to come to the line. He's going to improve by seven tenths. Moved himself up into eighth place, and that's close between him and the two McLarens at the moment. Very, very close up top as well, um, from third down to fifth. Let's see if uh, anybody else is going to be able to improve on their lap. Infamella on a lap at the moment. Uh, so is Tunchuri, uh, the other Finnish man here. 27 people watching. Thank you very much everyone who's joined so far. If you haven't already, um, no penalties this week. Uh, I'm going to say Jan. I know it's Jane. I know the English pronounced Jane, but it's a Finnish name. So I'm guessing it's probably something in Finnish. I don't want to make it sound like a woman. Unless it is a woman, then fair enough. I don't know. So we're going to say... Do you know what? We'll just say Jane. So yeah, I'll see it in first. And Jane is uh, actually a uh, replacement for uh, Daza in the racing point. So a uh, bit of uh, Nico Hulkenberg stuff there. 
Oh, does everyone else likes to call him Nico Ukenberg? As uh, here comes Tonios on a lap at the moment. Uh, that's what I do. That's what I do, Dutch. I, I do tell crazy things. So Tonios now coming around the final two corners. Let's have a run on board with him as he sends it round the final corner here. As he comes down towards the line, doesn't invalidate on the curb on the outside. What will he do? Only good enough for seventh in the Renault. The Renault seems to be struggling a little bit round here. One minute, 4.4. Oh, it's kebab right on the edge of the curb there. That was very close. Is, can anybody else improve up their lap? Looks like Phantom Rasquez on a lap at the moment through the middle sector. Down in the final sector now as he comes around the final two corners here. Such a high speed circuit, this one around Austria. Down to the line. He doesn't want to put his old car all the way across the this curb otherwise he will invalidate and there definitely isn't up on his time is anyone else going to be up on their time looks like Tonio's is going for another lap Gregster is 800s up but it's gone very wide and in the end just backed out of his lap a Sabo got a big chunk of oversteer on the rear as he came out of turn one such a difficult corner that with the track limits looks like uh, Deadly Chase out on the mediums interestingly and uh, I'll talk about the strategy a little bit later on, but um, but uh, as we look to the rest of the grid, Sabo on a lap at the moment, there's a red ball into the pit, there's a Renault to the line, it's Tonio's, he's four tenths up, can he improve, he goes pole position at the end, a one minute 3.8, can anyone else knock him off, Phantom Ratsquiz, he isn't improving at the moment, not improving for Phantom, Unless he can pull some out the back here in this final sector. Here he goes now. Round the final two corners. Can Phantom Ratsquiz knock Tonios off of the top spot? It doesn't look like it's going to be quick enough. It definitely isn't quick enough. Improves by 700 though. Puts himself up into fourth place in the end. And we'll see where the rest of the grid was in the end. But what a storm of a lap there by Tonio. So I was saying the Reynolds are struggling. And then bam. Pulled out a tenth over RC8 in the end. And um, it needs to do that. If he wants any good, any chances of uh, pulling this championship back into play. As uh, Tonio's on pole position in this one by just under a tenth of a second. The RC8 in second. Then Jane in third. Phantom Masquez in fourth. Combat in fifth. Gin and Juice in sixth. Unique J in seventh. Combat in eighth. Gregster in ninth. Alex Gunnamack in tenth. Sabo in eleventh. Tonchur in twelfth. Informella thirteenth. Tekas fourteenth. Robert Cobb five. Robert Cobb five fifteenth. Triple O sixteenth. And uh, Deadly Jason at the back in seventeenth place. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay, it is a he. Fair enough, fair enough. Ja yo, I like, like Jane. Jane. Jane? 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 Oh, Jane. Is it Jane or Jane? I don't know. I'm not very good with names. Uh, <laughs> Piero. <laughs> Uh, preparing myself for the claims and see the claims that more claims in DOG. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, yeah, it's a new insurance company, though, aren't they? Uh, Robert Cobb. If Robert Cobb can bang out four consecutive points finishes, uh, I, I'm, I'm just done. I'm done. Did, like it started, I, didn't, I didn't ever think this day would come, but I would say Robert Cobb scored three points in a row. Oh, yeah. I was going to do that for you, wasn't I, it's X5? So, you guys know it's X5, contents on the weekend league. Uh, I've lost it in the chat. It is his uh, birthday today. I don't know how old he is. Maybe he doesn't want it, maybe he doesn't want it to disclose his age. Um, you can probably tell by the high-pitchedness of his voice. He's of the younger of the ages. Um, but, yes, um, it is his birthday today. So, wish the man a good happy birthday on this wonderful day in Austria here in the Freshman League. And uh, we will get underway as a uh, formation lap. Now, uh, strategy. Oh, tomorrow it is. Sorry. Yes, tomorrow. I apologize. So it's his birthday tomorrow. I thought it was today. That's fine. I'm sorry. Oh, God. It's not my microphone over. Right. Anyway. Um, strategy on this track. So uh, it is a soft to medium. I was going to say comfortable soft to medium. But 
it can be a little bit tricky it, it's, to the end of the soft run it can get a little bit treacherous the game will say a soft to hard ignore the game it is a soft to medium we may see some people go for a soft to hard the hards around this track are and what I would like to say, abysmal. Don't use them. So a soft to, soft to medium is the way to go around this track. I believe so anyway. So yeah, we're going to have to see what happens. So it looks like uh, mostly... So it looks like we've got five drivers on the mediums. Uh, and everyone else is on the soft tyres. No hard tyres. So it is looking like it's going to be a soft to medium. I think everyone can, uh, can kind of see that, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, let's get underway here in the Freshman League. Get ready to go down into probably what is one of my most hated corners on any track, and that's Turn 1 of Austria. It's good on GT Sport. I love this game on G. I love this game. I love this track on GT Sport. However, on F1, it is awful because the track limits are really bad. Robert is only two points behind Tiger in the total champ. Ah, okay, right. Cash Tangle, we can't be violating like that, okay? I'm actually in the quicker league. So, you know, like, technically, you know, yeah. Don't violate me like that, please. G Sports is a better game than this. It is definitely Dutch. I agree. As uh, here we go, the Reds are going to count down. The lights won't go out as they always do because I'm host and it uh, never seems to happen like that. But yeah, Tony us away. He's got Arcee in his inside. Well, Arcee now trying into turn one. He's going to do so. It's like McLaren got very late into turn one. I think it was uh, possibly Kebab or his Unique J. I'm not sure which McLaren it was. I think it was Unique J who went very late there into turn one. He's having the battle here with Gregster. As here comes Arcee now possibly looking to the inside of Tony us down into turn one. Looks like uh, Unique J down the inside of. Of Gregster, and then there's some, uh, some looks like some damage came off the car of someone's combat just getting ahead of its combat with the wing damage, front right end plate damage on combat. As uh, it's unfortunate for him, as someone was looking down the inside there, there was Tekkers on the inside of Sabo the Mister. As Unique J's had a spin, and uh, the ghosting is now on, so it, his car shouldn't be too much in the way. As uh, Robert Cockfather has already dropped to the back of the grid, but it's RCA leading the way, followed by Tony in second. Then uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to say Jan, Jane, Jane. I'm going to say Jane, Jane in uh, in second place down the inside of Tonios, pushed him a little bit wide there. Phantom looking on the back of this battle as well. So is Gin and Juice. So these guys look to the the battle here, Tonios. Has been caught out here in these opening stages. The man who was was on pole position all the way down to third already in these opening stages. As Unique J into the pits already for he also had bad wing damage. As it looks like Kabab Barrages has gone round the outside and oh he's been hit from behind from combat. And that's definitely not a very good move. And I think that could be a penalty. And here comes the safety car. Because there's a lot of wing damage on the track, which is not great. Is that Gregster with damage? Looks like Gregster had a bit of a tussle with Phantom. Has uh, Kebab got damage? He does have damage, yes. So a few people going coming into the pits with the damage under the safety car. Just, uh, it looks like it's just a lot of debris on the track. That's all it is, really. This happened yesterday, to be fair. We had, like, a safety car for, like, n like g genuinely just wing damage on the track. Like, surely that's only really deserving of a virtual safety car, really. As half of the grid come in, half of them don't. it stays out, interestingly. It doesn't opt for the free pit stop. Tony also come in, go for a set of what looks to be mediums? Mediums, it is. It's going to be mostly mediums. It is mediums. But most of the guys who've just come into the pits. Just saying. 
Just because the marshals have declared the debris. Yeah, I know, but you, you, you still. That thing's only serving of a virtual. Like, if it was a long virtual stage, you can't, I think. Looks like we've got a, a Ferrari fan in the chat. And so just waiting for the rest of the grid to catch up. Looks like I think the safety car will be out for another lap, which would be for good for some of the guys on the mediums. However, a couple of people have gone for a fresh set of sauce. Interestingly, Tonio's done that as well. Fresh set of mediums of combat, fresh set of hearts for Gregster. So we've got a couple of little sort of mixed in uh, strategies here, which is interesting, as the safety car will be out for another lap. So it just absolutely ramped the inside of that curb there. As someone's actually coming to the pits again. Tonio's has into the pits again. Why is he back into the pits? Is that a wing change? It's a wing change. Did he not change his wing when he came in? Or has he had that under the safety car? I'm not sure. As uh, we look to the safety car now, as it comes up towards turn three. I mean, this right-hander here is actually turn three because that left-hander technically, for some stupid reason, counts as a corner. Don't know why. Well, it's actually, well, it's because of MotoGP. Everyone's going to say, "Hey, MotoGP!" Yes, but this isn't MotoGP, is it? These car, these have four wheels. They only have two. Surely the safety car should be in this lap. I can imagine, most likely, will be in this lap. Yep, there it is, safety car in this lap. So, uh, once again, I'll see it become the de facto safety car. And we'll get underway. Antonio's got a five second time penalty for collision with his own teammate under the safety car. That is interesting. It's gone from bad to worse already for the Renault team. As uh, here we go, underway. Informella got a five second penalty from Robert Cobfarber. He should be right behind the. Uh, no, well, Tonios has hit the back of Gregster. Why are, you sit why are you sitting so far behind the car in front? That's your own fault. You shouldn't do that. Give the gap. As uh, here comes Infamella to the inside. Oh, and here comes Kebab now, possibly round the outside of Infamella, and is going to get the move done. Now, uh, possibly here comes Combat to the inside and gets the move done. Come on, Robert, mate. Just carry more speed through those corners. Get the foot down, Robert! <laughs> uh, so, it's a couple of overtakes happening in the back here. Gregster on the inside of Robert Cobfarber. You need Jane getting involved as well. As I think it was an overtake, possibly uh, didn't quite see what that was beforehand. But everyone get back underway. Pretty cleanly so far. Tonio's right at the back after he got another set of wing damage off of uh, RC8 team or rank Phantom Razgrids. I'm confused what you're saying there, good sir, but what I will tell you is they are both in a Ferrari team, yes. So if that's what you were wanting to know, Gregster into the pit. Oh no, Infamella into the pits. Intriguing. Is it wing damage? Yeah, it is wing damage. Oh, is that Gin and Juice now? Possibly to the outside of Deadly Jason? No, just couldn't get the move done. Is Alex going to mack on the inside of Tunjuri? It's going to mack in a good position here, actually. He's had a good start to this race, so Tunjuri going to get past him. Tunjuri currently fourth in the championship and a really good season this time. And uh, let's see what the Finn is able to do. As we may see a uh, few penalties. What happened to Tonios? Well, um, he hit the back of his own teammate under the safety car twice. 
and uh, then got wing damage off of one of them and had to pit again. So yeah. Oh, here comes Gin and Juice again looking for the move on Deadly Chase. And this time he has got it done just before turn one. And uh, it's ran very wide there. And that could be deserving of at least a warning for him. As uh, here comes Kebab Barrage is now on the inside of Deadly Jason. Will Kebab go for another move? Will he go for a second one? Yes, he might possibly do so. Is he's going to push Gin and Juice a little bit wide. But in the end, still going to go wheel to wheel these two. And Kebab in the end storms past up into ninth position. A good, really good set of moves there from the McLaren. Kebab Barrages moves himself up into ninth position. His unique J around the outside of Gregster. That's a lovely move on the soft tires and gets the move done. Up into 13th position he goes. And... Uh, couple of people picking up some penalties we'll see it a lot around this track people picking up three second time penalties I'm just gonna say that's mainly because of turn one and how awful turn one's track limits are I think turn one probably has to be the most hated corner on F1 and it it's very bad here comes Kebab Barrage so he's going for it again this time he's got triple A triple O in his sides triple H a wrestler, not a driver. Triple O in his sights is uh, possibly looking to the inside there. Is Triple O picking up a three second time penalty for running wide on the exit? That makes no sense. How can you give someone a three second time penalty for corner cutting when they ran wide on a corner? That makes zero sense. On the thing that's not costing them the least time, you, you've, they're costing them more time and you've given them a pet. This game is beyond flawless. And said Chin and Juice though is right behind him, and that certainly wasn't a move there. He just definitely can't be going for a move there. Gin and Juice getting too impatient, just needed to back out and wait for it there. Didn't need to go for the move. And he's had a spin there, and he's put himself quite far back, unfortunately, for Gin and Juice. Uh, Tango Ed's moves. Um, probably. Hmm. What, where is Noose? Hiding. He's probably having some... Uh, he's probably having this lovely banquet, to be honest, Black Country. Most likely. Sabo, though, is right up behind Phantom. Now, we've seen Sabo on a few occasions. Like, we saw in, uh, in China, as Deadly Jason going to go to the inside of Triple O. Will he hold the position? And does so for now. But, yeah, if we uh, look back to China, it's Greg's are trying to get involved here now on Unit J. Possibly going to go to the inside here. Yeah, we'll talk about Sabo the Mister in China in a minute once this overtake happens or non overtake. It's Greg that just slots in behind Uni J. But yeah, if you remember, two races now, Sabo the Mister has been in really good positions, positions for a podium, and has had some fo form of unvo unfortunate thing happen. Like a, he had a spin in China coming onto the back straight, um, which is unfortunate for him. Uh, F1 Lover says early pens can ruin your race, as they can. As uh, lap 10 of 36 here in the Freshman League. It's Phantom Rasquez is uh, uh, gaining on Jan A. Possibly might look for the move now as Kebab Barrages and Tunchuri go and wheel to wheel now. This has been a big resurgence from Kebab. As he's run wide there, and yep, that deep wheel, that that one there was a—he didn't even slow down on the exit. I mean, that that one there was was definitely deserving of a warning. But here he goes now, possibly round the outside. Both McLaren drivers done the exact same thing as Deadly Jason now to the inside of to Triple O again. Gets the move done. The man on the medium tyres, Triple O on the softs. The softs can go pretty far into this race, but so can the mediums. Gin and Juice now getting this move done on Robert Cobb And what you like about Robert, right? He, he runs... He runs at his own pace. You know, he, he runs at a... Runs at a point where... You know, he, he just... He does what he wants. But he the reason why... The way he runs at his own pace, it keeps him out of trouble. 
keeps him away from the rest of the battles. Except he can't be running riot like that, but he's going to get himself a penalty. Big up Phantom Vasquez to the inside now of Janney. Four second position. Possibly looking for the move. Comes, here comes Janney back again. Might be looking for the move now to the inside. Phantom's giving, giving him enough room. It's now to the inside. Now Phantom Rasquiz back to the inside. Oh, and he's ran very, very wide into the gravel. Very, very wide into the gravel trap. And that's put Sub of the Mist. Oh, Sub of the Mist has lost it. Now here comes Tekka. Tekka's to say, thank you. I will move myself into the third position. And now A.B. Tekka's is currently in a podium position. But the man who's on absolute fire at the moment, on absolute afterburners, is... Uh, Currently chasing him down, and that's Kabar Barrages. It looks like uh, Janet came into the pits, the racing point. Piero, now Piero's the cursed one now. It's all Piero's fault. He is the cursed one now. Here comes Kebab. Kebab is flying at the moment. Possibly looking for the move here. Isn't going to go for it there. Well, Kebab oh, he's hit the back of Tekkers there. And uh, that could have ended it in some unfortunate. As Tech is going to go defensive, but Kebab's going to have the outside line. And once again, Kebab making the same move done again. He's got around the outside into turn four, and he's made it work. So, Sabo, if you're watching the replay, uh, it's, it's Piero's fault. He commented saying, uh, I'll give you the exact words of what Piero said, and I'll do it in a. Um, in French accent. Oh, bonjour. Uh, Sabo doing uh, good, but we know he will burn uh, before the end. There we go. So, Sabo, if you're watching this, uh, I apologize to any French people as well. <laughs> After that pretty poor performance. Um, but, uh, yeah. Basically, Sabo, it's Pierre's fault. Robert Cogfather, no, Robert! Robert's picked up a three-second time penalty. I said challenge you ever talk French. <laughs> yeah, Robert is going for it. Just let Robert Cobfather do his thing. Just let him do his thing. He'll, he'll, he'll get there at his own pace. It's combat now down the inside of Triple O. Up into ninth position. Possibly Tech is now looking for the move back on Sabo. And uh, Sabo spun, but he's got himself back into a position here. But has he got wing damage? I thought he did, but it doesn't actually. Um, see if Sabo can get into position. Let's look at penalties. Three seconds, three seconds, six seconds, eight seconds. Come on, Robert, you've got eight second penalty? Robert, 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 this could, could do... Robert, mate, if you listen, just stay on the track, okay? Just, 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 no need to exceed the track limits, all right? You've got your pace. You don't need to exceed your track limits with your pace. You'll be fine. All right, you're back. What did you miss? Well, you missed, um, yeah, Piero basically said, oh, Sabo's doing a good job until he spins and then he span. And uh, yeah, and then, and then um, Jenna also sp uh, went flying into the wall, just overshot the corner at turn uh, six. And, and, yeah, turn six. Um, which is why he's all the way down in 15th place. Sabo has come out on the set of hard tyres in 15th place as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you've missed so far. And then I tried to tried to speak in an in English French accent, and it didn't work, and I just kind of sounded a little bit German. As at the moment, and it's gonna back, and a little bit of a fight here with uh, Tenchuri, Deadly Jason, Combat getting involved here as now in the midfield, sort of the uh, battle for the midfield of the points anyway. As uh, Phantom Rasquiz is into the pits, it's all combat. Definitely can't be going for the move around the outside there. As uh, Phantom Rasquiz into the pits, so is Triple O into the pits now. A couple of early soft stops for the guys going on to the mediums. As Deadly Jason right up behind combat. Possibly now to the outside he goes. And is uh, going to get the move done. And uh, will he look for a move on someone else? He's going to try and defend from the Red Bull driver behind and does so nicely. Moves himself up into sixth position.
As uh, Combat now going to dive it back down the inside and nicely gets the move done. Just put it in that little gap there. And uh, well, Deadly Jason, look for the move back. Isn't going to go for it there. It's going to allow Uni Chain to get involved here. But Combat is right on the back of, uh, of Alex Gunner Mac, who's got front left end plate damage. So uh, Alex Gunner going to have to try and defend well from Combat here. Is Combat going to go to the inside? Capitalizes on Alex Gunner Mac. Running wide. Oh, Alex Gunner Mac sit heavily into the wall anyway, into the pit lane. As uh, Unique Chain comes into the pits as well for his pit stop. As uh, a few people getting back into the mix here. Unique Chain, uh, Gin and Juice here, who was uh, down, who had that spin earlier as he went for that unnecessary move. But uh, he's managed to get himself back into a position here where he might look for an overtake on uh, Deadly Jason. Isn't going to go for it here on the Haas driver. It's Alex going to max retired. That's in the pit lane, though. That's it. That is in the pit lane. So no real. <laughs> drama at the moment but yeah that that was a, a pit lane retirement as his car is going to drive out the pit lane but he, he did re he did retire in the pit lane duchy so um if you're still here he's probably gone uh v will be welcome i haven't seen in a chat for ages v will be welcome hope you're all doing great in the chat guys hope you're all enjoying this one here in the freshman league it's rca the leader into the pits for the Ferrari team, goes on to a set of mediums, as we all know. And I did say it was going to be a soft medium. As, uh, oh, hello, Thunder as well. Dutchie's still here. As uh, into the pits comes Kabat Barrages for a set of medium tyres as well. And out he goes as uh, AB Techers will now move into the lead of this race. It isn't the net lead of the race, though, because that is RC8 still as he's on the made his pit stop. Techers and Tunchuri still yet to make pit stops. But, um, yeah, good race so far, apart from the first two laps. Which, trust me, Daz, uh, I'd be looking in the chat because I'm not going to be very happy. As I all stab of the mist, they're looking for the move here on uh, combat. And uh, going to be getting the move done. Uh, what happened? Um, there's just a lot of people getting some wing damage on the opening laps. That's all it really was. Just stupidity. Um... Tekkens is doing... No, no! <laughs> Piero, don't say it! Don't, no, don't, don't, don't... Tekkens, I'm, I'm sorry, it's Piero's... Just, he's... He, Piero is, is cursing everyone! <laughs> the French curse is real! Robert Codfather currently sat in 12th place. Go on, Robert. Oh, there's been an incident here? Oh, no, some gin and juice has actually just come into the pits. That's why I was just confused. Oh, someone else is into the pits. No, it's a yellow flag. That's not a pit lane. That's someone spinning at the rear. That's Sabo the Mister and P Piero. What have you done? The poor, the, the poor man, Piero. Piero, what have you? You, you ruined the poor man's race. Here comes Phantom to the inside. Oh, that's late from Gregster. You can't be doing that. Gregster, 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 that is, that, that, oh, that could be a penalty, that one. That, you cannot be doing that, Gregster. Cannot be moving under the breaking zone like that. RC8 now, gaining on Tekkers. And uh, remember, Tekkers is on that alternate strategy, the medium to soft. As uh, Phantom Rise Grizz trying to look for his move again on Gregster. Won't, won't try it into turn one. Going to get as close as he can now for the move into turn three. And uh, he'll be right on the back of Gregster. Let's see if Gregster's going to be a little bit more compliant. Oh, he's going to defend Gregster well. He's trying to defend as best he can with those hard tyres. But Phantom... With so much more grip, so much more speed on those mediums. He's able to get past him, though. Gregster might look for the move again. He's going to try and go for it. But once again, Phantom, just the, the more grip here. It's Robert Cotfather having a bit of a battle here. Sabo the Mist has retired. That's in the pit lane, though. Piero, you just fully cursed that man. Uh, but, yeah, but the, the, 
that you couldn't dance it. There's only moving once, and there's moving in the breaking zone. You cannot move in the breaking zone at all. That was a, it was a very, very late move from Greg, uh, from Gregster. That was my issue. It's fine, you can move once, but you, you cannot move sharply like that. That's very, very dangerous. As uh, here comes Phantom Rascus again looking for the move on Gregster. And this is slowing Phantom down, getting stuck behind Gregster. As RC8 now looking for the move on Tekkers. And Tekkers definitely not going to find it. He's going to be like, let's not cost each other both time here. Let's go for it. It's Phantom Rascus gets ahead of Gregster before the corner. Gregster again looking for the move. And Phantom just caught in this in this battle here. And Gregster going to pull away with the DRS. Yes, I know. I like that, Piero. That's good. That's good strategic maneuvers. We need we need any anything we can. Yeah, 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 Piero. No, Piero. That's actually perfectly acceptable now that you've actually do, you've done that for the sake of Robert Codfather. And it, it, that, it, that is and that, that is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> As uh, Jutskev, welcome. Uh, freshman Premier, very different. Oh, yes, they are indeed. They are indeedy. As a phantom still stuck behind us, Tanchuri actually comes into the pits now. So it'll be for the next set of soft tyres. Is he going to take soft tyres 16 laps? What's he going on to a set of... What's he going on? Wait, is that a set of mediums? That's a set of hards. Tanchuri. Tanchuri. Guys, I don't think Tanchuri got the motto. I think he realises it's a soft medium. Or a medium to soft. Don't think he knows. Oh dear. Come on, Robert, you've got this. You could get it on penalties. Oh no, he won't get it on penalties yet. Oh, you never know, you never know, you never know. We just have to pray. That's all we have to do. Pray for Robert. Can we get hashtag pray for Robert Cobbfather in the chat? Cheers. Just like all one word. Yeah, I, I don't understand either, Dancer. That's why I was confused. It made no sense. It's like an, it's genuinely like an easy stop to medium. Uh, what well, the pole time was a one minute three point, yeah, about a one minute three point eight ish. About that. Oh, it's Tekkers into the pits. Now, did Tekkers get the motto? Can he do fifteen laps on the the softs? Or was cars like really glitching out in the pit lane? I see Tekkers got the memo. Yes, yes, that's it. That is it. I'm loving when that's happening. That, that is it, guys. That is it. It was Phantom now getting past Gregster. The third position. This feud between these two. Phantom managing to get the move done as uh, Jamie getting involved as well. So Tonio's getting past Robert Koffar. Robert Koffar is into the pit. And he's serving that five-second time penalty. So Robert, he's deducted his penalty. And he's down to three seconds. Yes. We, we, everyone put hashtag pray for Robert. He's done it now. Come on, Robert. You've got this. He needs to get back out on track here. Come on, Robert, mate. You're on the softs now. Go flying. Foot down, Robert. Foot down. Get going, mate. Get going. He's got this. As Greg straight into the pits, interesting. He sort of combat come into the pits. It's interesting that actually. Could set a sauce for combat. And uh, Deadly Jason into the pits as well. It's like a set of sauce for Gregster. Deadly Jason in. What will Deadly Jason go on to? To find out when he reaches the has pit garage. Set of soft tires as well. Come on, Robert. Get your, get your foot down, son. How many penalties has everyone got around him? Three, nine. He's so far behind, though. Hang on, how is he so far behind? I don't get that. He, 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 he was like... Ah, oh, Robert. Robert, Robert, Robert. It's combat now to the inside. And combat again, gonna get the move done. Oh, and he's run wide. He's done a he's done a Valtteri Bottas, and that's allowed Gregster to get past as well. Combat just a little bit too aggressive. That's the it's a little bit of an issue with Combat. Just a little bit too aggressive. He needs to just hold off and just bide his time. It's 
You know, he's still got long left to go in this race. He's done an Albon. Yeah, he's done an Albon or a Bottas, whichever one you want to... Come on. Come on, Robert. Come on. All he needs, all he needs is a, is a safety car. A safety car now for Robert, and it would do him justice. There goes Tekas past Tanchuri into turn one. That's the move done up into seventh. And now Tekas has got to catch up at Triple O. Tekas on the fresh soft tyres. Triple O and eight lap old mediums. So here comes Tanchuri looking for the move back on Tekas on the set of hard tyres. Tekas are going to get a better run out the corner. Someone running slowly. Oh, and it's Phantom Rats because he's got bad damage. Bad, bad damage for Phantom. Huge damage for Phantom. And here comes Gregster on Tunchuri. Kebab moves himself up into third. A huge damage for the Ferrari driver. Surely now will be into the pits. Yes, he is. And he comes. In comes Phantom Razgris. Tanchuri picks up a three second time penalty. That's definitely not what he wanted. With the penalties at the moment. Robert Koffarver in, in some good positions. As uh, Let's see what the man is able to do. Go on, Robert. If you can get three consecutive points finishes in a row. Why is it I see it not the Premier? Because he doesn't use ABS. Well, because he uses ABS, sorry. So it comes Unique J to the inside. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the P word to be pulled out, Dutch mates, so uh, after I said that. Here comes Combat. Now to the outside of Tunchuri. And uh, he's going to get the move done up into ninth position. So Greg's the writer behind Tekas now. Yeah, uh, yes, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty much Dutchy. Yeah. It was Greg's was ran very wide. So someone just so someone's yellow flag at the back again. What's that yellow flag for? Was that Infamella retiring? Oh, he's retired on uh, Dutchy Infamella retired on track. As uh, here comes Combat now on Unique J. He's going to get the move done. Problem is, though, Combat, he's got that many penalties. He's just going to drop outside the top 10. So, in a position at the moment is Combat not to, uh, to get anywhere. As uh, Deadly Jason, possibly a remove on Tonios. And uh, will he look to the outside? It goes Deadly Jason. Can't go for it there. Must be looked to the inside. Now he's got so much more grip than the Renault driver. And also a bit of contact there. As, uh, in the end, Deadly James not being able to get the move. Yeah, don't you watch because you want to see Robert Confarb get into the points, is what you want to see. So here we go now. Possibly look for someone look for a move. It is Gregster. As he's now going to look for the move, he's going to go around the outside. And he's going to, is he going to get the move done before the corner where Tekas try and fight back? Just isn't going to go for it there. Will AB and he'll stay in seventh position for now. It's Deli Jason now. Surely will he look for the move, Antonios? Can't go for it there. Might try it now. As he is, he's going to go around the outside. Down the inside now. Into turn four. And he gets the move done up into 11th position. And now he's got to hunt down Tunchuri on the hard tyres. Gregster gaining now on triple O. This is next target is the Renault driver. Uh, Antonio's wasn't in. Yeah, I, I think it just differs from track to track, Piero, if I'm honest. It, 
Like, it happens sometimes. Someone, sometimes someone will be right up there battling for the podium, and then the next week they, they might be down battling for just the points. I think it just depends on what track it is, really. It's Tekkers getting around the outside of Triple O nice and easily before turn four. It's going to get the move done. Combat, though, he's got to be careful. He's right up behind Triple O. As uh, he's going to go down the inside again, does combat. And is uh, going to get the move done this time on Triple O, the Mercedes driver. Have a look at the points at the moment, penalties at the moment. Could possibly be uh, Gin and Juice on the podium for this one. With the what looking like with the penalties. Combat's on 17 seconds. Jesus. That's a lot of penalties for the, the Red Bull driver. That's all it is, V Roby. It's plenty of practice. Tunchuri with a three second time penalty. So Alex gonna mark. Oh, someone's got very wide there. It was uh, Triple O actually at turn three. And uh, everyone just a little bit spaced out at the moment. Um, apart from Tekkers and Gregster, it looks like here. These guys pretty close to each other. Tony just looks like he's getting close to Phantom at the back. So at the moment, RC8 leading by 12.5 seconds over uh, Janet in second. Did a very good recovery, actually, after getting that damage. Uh, Kebab in third, Gin and Juice in fourth, Gregster in fifth, Tekka's down in sixth in the end. Red Bull teammate not far behind in seventh. Unique J actually going to go down the inside of Triple O. Ran a little bit wide on the exit of turn three. I, there's not much to talk about at the moment, really, Dutchie, apart from there was a little bit of an overtake here. here it might happen again. It's possibly going to look for the move here on Triple O. Bit of a lock-up there from Uni J. And uh, couldn't get the position there. It's Kabab picked up another three-second time penalty. There's a lot of penalties in the moment on these guys. It's five laps left to go in this race. RC8 leads. Tekka's trying to see if he can gain on the Renault driver. And this will be a semi-decent result for Renault because, I mean, uh, actually, they're still not going to outscore Ferrari, which is what they would have wanted. But Tonios, with that wing damage at the beginning, went into the back of his teammate in under the safety car. Uh, if you mean Jané, or Jané, I don't know. Um, just a replacement driver, Piero. I believe it's Finnish. I don't possibly may have an association with... But Tunchuri might know him. I'm not sure. Because I can remember Tunchuri speaking to me about someone wanting to race. But uh, I'm not too sure. But uh, doing a very good job, though, in second place. Has been very clean as well. Uh, NDM Gaming. Oh, God, Natty. As it says many different teams in the top 10. Well, let's have a look here at the teams. So we've got a Ferrari Racing Point, McLaren, Williams, Renault, Red Bull, Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren, Racing Point. Yeah. So yeah, just, just a wide variety of teams. No hasses. In there, no Alfa Romeos, no Alfa Tauris. Well, I mean, there's no Alfa Romeos in the grid, actually, now. Got a full Alfa Romeo team spare if anyone wants to join. Oh, that's very Larry on the rear there from Unice. But 
Racing Point sounds old. Now it's Aston Martin. Yeah, exactly. But I, I can't really call. I can't. I'm sorry, but when does that there look like an Aston Martin? I mean, you know, I can't really call it an Aston Martin at the moment. When it gets in its Aston Martin colours, trust me, I'll be calling that Aston Martin all day and all night. But at the moment, it is a racing point. Unfortunately, I would like the Aston Martin. So it's good, that's a good thing about the new game. So let's bring out the new car liveries. Let's see the new cars. Oh, Techers has run wide there. Greg's pick up the three second time penalty because he exceeded the track limits. Again, he's getting a P uh, Dex Fight's getting the PS5 for his birthday. Fair enough. It's Gregster. Close up behind. Tech Tech is up close up behind Gregster. He's got the launch. Gregster, again, you can't be doing that. Really, really, really dangerous from Gregster. He cannot be doing that into the breaking zone. It's triple O to the inside of Unique J. Unique J gonna hold it on the outside. It's in fact gonna get the move done up into eighth position. But Gregster moving too much under the breaking zone there. That was that was more than that was more than two movements that in the breaking zone. I mean I, even one movement. Yeah, he's moving way, way too late under the breaking zone. It's very dangerous. So Tekkers is trying to get up behind him. Got Deadly Jason. Oh, it's Triple O and Unit J have once again out battling. Didn't Unit J made a bit of a mistake though into turn one? Because here comes Tunchuri from far back. Unit J gave him the space. Was like, here you go. Here's what you get for that lunge. A nice wide open door. But here comes Tunchuri and it's, it's going to get the move done. He's on fresher, hard tyres. It's possibly going to look for the inside into turn four. It's a little bit of contact. Uh, yeah, that would be a fight. Well, we'll have a look at it, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll make him fully aware. A, there'll be a few people I'll be messaging after this. Yeah, I haven't heard from Gavin once in this entire race. See you here, Gav, mate. Ah, Mr. Gavin Novick. Hello. Guys, we could uh, once again, um, we need look, some luck for Robert Cobb Farber. So if we get hashtag uh, pray for Robert Cobb Farber in the chat, please, then that would be great. Just so you know, give us give as much support as we can to our 68-year-old driver, Robert Cobb Farber, the man, the myth, the legend. Here comes Phantom Radsquiz now, possibly looking to the outside into turn three on Tunchuri. And uh, cannot get the move done there. Um, that was the wrong. Okay, that's fine. No, we can. Yeah, we'll roll with that one, Pierre. We'll roll with that one. As uh, RCA with commanding lead starts the final lap in this race. As uh, it's going to be a few penalty disruptions. As uh, a few people going to get on the podium. Gin and Juice could get its first look at a podium all season in the Williams. As uh, a bit close down here, it for the lower end of the points, it looks like. And they're all kind of on similar penalties. I mean, Tutu's on nine, Deadly Jason on three, so Deadly Jason at the moment will be getting the point. Let's have a look here and see what happens. Is that going to be coming around soon? As Phantom Rice goes right up behind Tunchuri, and this is for the back end of the points here, this battle is. As Phantom Rice has got a brilliant um, run here down towards. Unique J once again has got the move done on Triple O. Phantom Rise Grizz is to the outside. Oh, he's gone way too late. He's almost got into the back of Triple O. And Centuri keeps the position, but now here comes Deadly Jason. He's got a little last lap sort of conundrum in. RCA takes the win, but I'm looking here in this battle for what is going to be Phantom Rise Grizz to the inside of Tunchuri. And he's going to try and love the move. Oh, this Tunchuri's off. And that is so unfortunate for Tunchuri. He wasn't going to get the points anyway. But that is unfortunate. Penalty might be coming in the way of Phantom Razgriz. RC8 takes sec. Does it takes first. Uh, Jan Ney in second. Gin and Juice in third. 
Kebab in fourth. Tekka's got fifth in the end with Gregster in sixth. Combat's going to come across the line in seventh, but he's probably going to fall quite far down. Unique Jade goes up to fifth place. A brilliant result for the McLaren team as Combat pushed down to ninth. Phantom Branskrits will take a final point, but uh, may pick up a penalty in the next race. Triple O in 11. Tony Oz 12. Tunchuri going to come across in 13. But Robert Cobb father. The streak is over, unfortunately. And he's going to come across the line. And he's going to finish in 14th place. Unfortunate for Robert. But yeah, well done to RCA and the rest of the podium. Gin and Juice getting his first podium of the season. And uh, Jane, our replacement driver, getting on the podium as well. For two fresh new faces on the podium. RCA, though, definitely isn't fresh to the podium and takes the win. And uh, it takes the win here in Austria. That was the final grid there with three retirees in that race. And, uh, yeah, that was the rest of the penalties. Okay, let's... Okay. Let's... Yeah, let's... Okay, that was... That was too many hashtags at um, Taxify. Uh, what's F1, F1 lover saying? Now, I, I've been mean, using ABS, I think. F1 drive. If, you, if it's going to be in competitive F1 league, ABS kind of has to be off, if I'm honest with you. It really should be. No rain so far. Yeah, I hope it will continue like this as well, because I'm god awful in the rain. Now, F1 lover, it is, it's not it's not difficult to get a hang of, a, of ABS. It's really not. But yeah, we'll get onto that conversation now. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining me in this. Um, uh, thank you everyone for joining me in this Freshman League race. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure you tune in for next week. Where we will be in... I, it's, I made my own calendar and I forget it. Silverstone. Yeah, so it's Silverstone next week um, for all the leagues. So make sure you tune in for then. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining in the chat. And... We will. I will see you all tomorrow for the Premier Series. We'll be joined by Natty and Two Same for that once. So yeah, make sure you tune in then, guys. And uh, thank you all for joining me in the Freshman League.